Welcome back. In this step, we'll create a sample Maven project and import it into Eclipse. We'll learn how to create a Maven project using Spring Initializer. That's start.spring.io. So that's start.spring.io. Next, we would import the created project. Let's get started with it. Start.spring.io is where I am. I just go there and I would want to generate a Maven project. I'll use Java as the language and I'll use a Spring Boot version. Uh, you can use 2.0.0 snapshot or whichever is the highest version in there. The version does not really matter. So we are creating a Maven project and when we create a Maven project, the first thing that we would need to give it is a name. The name of the project is what you would put in artifact. So I would call this Maven in few steps or you can call it Maven in 10 steps, 5 steps, whatever you want to call it. That's the artifact ID. The group ID, I'll call this com in 28 minutes and learning Maven. Other than that, I would want to add a dependency. So I would want to just add a dependency on web. Dependency is basically a Maven concept wherein all the things that you would want to use in the project become a dependency. So let's say I want to use Spring in my project. That's a dependency. I want to use Spring MVC in my project. That's another dependency. What Spring Boot does is it groups a lot of that kind of stuff into their utility. Let's say I want to develop a web application. I would need Spring, Spring MVC and all that kind of stuff. As soon as I say web in here, I would get all that kind of dependencies for free. I'm choosing web. If you're not able to understand this fully, that's not a problem at all. We'll look at this in detail in the next steps. To summarize, what we did is we choose generate a Maven project with Java. We are using the latest version of Spring Boot, which is present in here. I could have chosen .m2 snapshot. It doesn't really matter. So I'm giving a group ID and an artifact ID. And I've added web as a dependency. I can click generate project. What generate project does is this would create a zip file. So this would create a zip file, which would be downloaded to your downloads folder. What I would recommend you to do is to unzip it and put it in some folder, either in your C colon or in one of your main directories. When I click generate project, this would download a zip. So you can see that it's downloaded to my downloads folder. I would unzip it and I would actually put it in some folder on my hard disk. What I have done is I have moved it to my folder, Git, getting started in five steps, Maven in few steps. This is where I copied the unzipped folder to. In Eclipse, we can import a Maven project. How do you do that? It's file, import, type in Maven, say existing Maven project, and then you can browse to the directory where you have copied the unzipped folder to. I've selected the root directory here, and you can see that the POM file comes in. And then you can go ahead and click finish. This will take a while because what, what's happening here is that the project and the dependencies are declared in something called a POM file. So Maven would read that POM file and it would download all the dependencies that are needed. When we added in a dependency called web, along with the Spring MVC, Spring and other dependencies, there are a lot of other things that you would need to develop web applications. All those dependencies would be downloaded to your local machine. And Maven is doing a lot of magic in the background. Wait for all that stuff to complete. And let's say within a few minutes, you should see a project being created. If you open up the project in the project explorer, at the end of the whole thing, you would see source main Java, source main resources, source test Java, and you would see Maven dependencies, which are present in here. There are a lot of Maven dependencies that you should see in here. And you should also be able to run these programs as well. So if I go to source main Java, and say right click run as java application so i'm opening up maven in few steps application and trying to run it let's see what would happen it takes a little while when you run it the first time you'd see that the application would launch up fine this is a web application which is using a lot of frameworks we were able to get it running within a few minutes how does maven do all this magic how did we really get the application up and running within a couple of minutes what we'll do in the next steps is to understand what's happening in the background. In this step, we took a shortcut. We used Spring Initializer to create a Maven project. 
we downloaded that project, imported it into Eclipse, and we saw that we were able to run it fine. But we don't really understand what's happening in the background here. In the next steps, we will try and understand that in depth.